Hi, welcome to outcome number eight, legal principles, appraise legal principles in organizations. Um, in this uh, learning outcome, you will see three uh, different artifacts. Two artifacts that are from ILD 807, which is the legal um, course, and then one um, from 805, which is policy. Uh, to explain a little bit more, uh, the first artifact is my final paper from law, uh, which is 807. It is based on the fair use policy, so it is based on the Educational Fair Use Act, and it's looking at the uh, ability to use uh, copyrighted materials in an educational setting. Uh, for instance, you can use music, um, but it can only be 30 seconds or a specific amount if it's a published piece. You can use 10% uh, of the work or 10,000 words, whichever is least. So it, it looks at all these aspects and then what the actual policy that governs this and who oversees it and how uh, people uh, protect their property. And, and then it goes into intellectual property and such. Um, the second artifact is uh, the final policy project paper, which is from uh, pol public policy, uh, ILD 805. Now, this is interesting, and I put this in here because basically uh, the topic that I chose was focusing on nonprofits and what makes a nonprofit. Um, and looking at the laws that govern nonprofits, specifically with the IRS and the 501c3, and how um, basically what the paper explains and looks into is the fact that not all nonprofits are 501c3s, and that um, basically what happens is that uh, in becoming a 501c3, there are a lot of uh, elements that the IRS and the government require that nonprofit to establish and in case that that nonprofit is unable to establish those what are the um, alternatives to to fundraising such as crowdsourcing and um, all the other alternatives um, and the final artifact is again from IL ILD 807 um, because law and finance are into one class, there was a limited number of actual artifacts for law. So there was a hot topic discussion that was pretty much a paper, but what we had to do is take the, the research paper, which was a three to four page paper, and paste it into a discussion. Um, so I took that out of the discussion and, and formatted it into a paper format. Um, and so what was interesting, and I decided to um, include this because it was a fascinating uh, topic, was uh, the digital afterlife. And what it focused, my research focused on is what happens to your online life when you pass on? Uh, what happens to your Facebook? Who owns your Facebook account? Who owns your Twitter account? Who owns Instagram? Your Instagram account? When you pass on, who has the right to access this if you do not leave it in your will? And so um, there are companies out there that now are establishing themselves in order to um, that basically create themselves as a uh, digital will for people so that when you pass on, you can give someone the power of attorney to your digital life and create a digital footprint will or a digital will for your digital footprint. 